Anyway, let's continue our Super Mario Odyssey, yeah? So, off stream, whilst I was watching Demon Slayer, I just did some grinding of 9,999 coins again. I haven't progressed at all. It's more just, well, I'll get some money so I can buy more costumes so we see more of them. That's, that's it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how you can burn beans <laughs> just that often. It's okay. But I know, I know I'm correct. Like, that's exactly what the smell is. Alright, so what's the next pain in the ass item I need to buy? There's so many. A thousand... A zombie outfit for five thousand. Look at how expen- look at how expensive some of this is. Oh, they have one for Zatella View? Wow. One for Mario Sunshine. Musician outfit, Metal Mario, Gold Mario. I can wear a bridal gown if I want. Bowser's tuxedo. I love some of the descriptions, by the way. This outfit makes you want to lurk in the shadows, waiting for a turn in the spotlight. <laughs> Poor Waluigi just doesn't have a game. I think that he's like the only character from the main crew that doesn't have a game, other than Daisy, right? Like, I don't think Daisy has a game. I like this one. The standard cap in vivid green. The L stands for winner. Oh my god. Alright. Well, I guess I'll get the next, the second most expensive thing, huh? So how does this work? I have skeleton and I have 8-bit. I think I need to take off. Hang on. Because 8-bit overrides everything. Okay, not that. Hold on. No, you know what? I should do this. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like this. Perfect. I mean, just needs more color on the bones. I like it. it. It's fitting. Alright, what have you got for me? Hey, I forgot to do the capture card reset. Hold up. Before I forget. So, the rabbit is here. It's just a safety precaution. I feel like I have to do it. I don't remember seeing a rabbit. Taking notes in the wall painting. Okay. More walking in the desert. Okay, well that one I know what that is. There's also three coins still somewhere. I don't, I don't know where. I haven't been able to figure that out. As weird as it might sound, I vaguely recall that the first time I played this, some, I think the same thing happened. I could not find three coins and it drove me crazy. I don't remember what the outcome was, like, where they were, but I do remember vaguely that this this kingdom caused me problems with the coins, the special ones. Oh. Okay, 
Screenshot it. Oh, that's in Bowser's kingdom. I want to get some coins just now, just so I have some money for lives. Alright, I'll do the walking one because I know what that is. That's... It's this thing again, but I imagine it's much more strict with the scoring. So it's, it's a circle again. 90, man. Damn it, close. <laughs> this might be painful. Okay, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's even worse. Okay. The thing is, I think I got 90-something the first time around, and I don't know how I did it. And now where it really counts, like, I, I can't do it. That seems... Well, okay. Never mind, it's worse. <laughs> I gotta go wider. Ugh. Still 86. I think I just... I'm turning too soon. Okay. Alright. Ooh, this is not good. I keep drawing it. <laughs> Oh no, this is bad. Ah! Uh, can I retry? No. I guess I just have to let this one play it as it lies. This one's gonna be horrible. <laughs> yeah, cuz... I messed up. I feel I feel good about this one. This one's not bad. There we go. Okay. Let's not do that again. Okay, I need to find the rabbit. I don't know where the rabbit would be. This would be my guess here. Yeah. Though maybe not. How 
has to be somewhere where it can run around and kind of be annoying. Oh yeah, and I still gotta find the little dude hiding. You know what? I probably should have checked up there. There's a, I guess, little happy hiding somewhere. It's trying to keep cool, so... I just have to check every character. I got the feeling that the coins that I'm missing are just somewhere around here. Like, oh wait, there's a moon. Oh, it slides. Oh, but there we go. <laughs> I'll take it. This is probably the only area I haven't explored completely. Ah, oh, what? No pixel art skeleton? That feels lazy. I was looking forward to it. Lame. More coins, where are they? Oops. Oh, I misjudged. I don't have to go through it. I am looking carefully. Okay, I did get those ones. I mean, I think I've been pretty thorough with this.
Oh, this is a new one. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, okay. Let's... Someone just hinted. Alright, cool. Well, this wasn't a waste. Still no closer to finding these last coins. Where else haven't I been? There's got to be some sub area. I feel like if it was out in the open, I would have spotted it by now. Oh, you know what? What if it's... <laughs> wow. Oh, what? You're telling me it's not here either? the thing that I, I don't know, like, if it, when it says there's nothing here, does it mean moons or does it mean everything? What am I looking for? Three of the currency ch pawn chip things. This kingdom's unique currency. There's three of missing. So, it's somewhere? Oh, that's rude. Wow, that's rude. <laughs> Damn hidden block. The only thing I can do is really just check all the sub areas. At least I know where it's not. I bet if I was to look up, like, oh, three coins missing, <laughs> it would point me in the right direction. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have a look here. It's just, it says there's nothing, but I think there's enough ambiguity that it could mean that there's still something. I'm gonna watch carefully, because there were coins in this one. <laughs> yeah, so there's a couple. What is this place called? Testarina. Like Tosta. Like Tostava. The Tostarina. <laughs> I doubt it's here. Oh, 
feel like I've looked at all the edges of the map. Like I did a lap of the edge of the map. I want to say what quite a few people said. Shoot. Questions. In the upside down pyramid, I'll look in the upside down pyramid. The ledge ones, I've definitely I've done a lap of the whole thing. I don't think it's anywhere outside. It would have to be in one of these sub areas. I'm gonna try down here first, and then I'll make my way up. Oh, the oh right. Okay, no. I see. Well... Hmm. The message didn't come up. It didn't say, hey, you found everything. I forgot that the pyramid was that. Uh, where is it? There it is. Well, it doesn't say that I've acquired everything. But that's the thing, I did visit this. There's probably some secret area that I've missed. Okay, just making sure. Oh. That's just an abyss, so I don't think it's that. Guarantee it's the coins. Walk to the checkpoint flag. Next to the ball being done. Drop off the wall somewhere in the sand. What? I mean, there's a lot of bullet bills here. Unless it, I think... See, this didn't give the message that I've got and everything. Okay, I mean... Oh! I know which checkpoint they're referring to. Oops. Hey, come here. Well, this didn't yield anything.
Okay. I've been there. Yeah, but I may have still missed it. Unless there's something here off the ledge, like it's possible that it's sneaky and place something here. Uh, I might have to, like, go to the guide, because they're going to be in a cluster of three. See, that's the thing. So the coins are in clusters of two and three, so if there's a guide for it, you can it'll rule out the spots where there's it's talking about clusters of two. Hang on, I'm going over here. I love how there's no fall damage. Alright, so this is the bullet bill area. I'll check all the sand areas. Under the bridge, maybe? That's the other thing. It has to be s Well, not just three, it's... I think the way guides are written is they'll go, oh... You know, go here and you'll see three coins and pick them up. Or they'll be like... I don't know. It depends how it's written. But I'll look around here. I guess I may as well get that to heal. It's going to be in a small spot that I've overlooked. The more time I take. I've been in there, that's a moon. I went down there. I should probably do this as well. <laughs> Test arena. Okay. I'm getting two. Aha! Okay, I found a map that has three. So it shows lots of three. That's great. Okay, so... Apparently, you hang on, there's three. There's three over here. That's the Sphinx, though. Right, let's just see. Unless it's referring to this. No, that's that. Okay, so then apparently there's three. What is it referring to? Okay, these are the three it's referring to, so I've got those. Okay, so... I think it's safe to say that these are ruled out. This map is useful, so then... I'm just looking at the logic here. Because that's the thing, there's there's never a coin that's hanging on its own, so it has to be a group of three. Um, apparently there's three at the rear. Yeah, this map should hopefully lead me in the right direction, because I can just go to the ones where I see clusters of three. Apparently there's six in here, so that might be worth investigating because it could be two lots of three. 
Okay, so I have these ones. I'm going in here quickly. Yeah, but I want to see if if this is actually done or if it's Okay, so there's there's all six. All right, then yes, this is done. There's not that many clusters of three. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Alright, next is the poison lake. I'll get that. Apparently here. Okay, I see them. So there's three. There's only three here. So I've got those. Okay, check. Okay, over the bridge. I'm just gonna go through this systematically. Oops. Wait, what is this? Apparently, this three here. Leave it be. Uh. Okay, three over here. Okay, I do have those. Kind of figured. <laughs> okay. Uh, in town. Whoops. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Oh, the rabbit's there. I found the rabbit. Okay, that's... Oh, wow, there's three of them. Oh, boy. Hey, where are you going? Oh, this is a distraction. Just, just, can, can you stop? Just... Ah! <laughs> Get back here. Damn it, I had you. To deal with the rabbit. It's a reference to Mario 64. There was a rabbit running around in Mario 64 where you caught it, you got a star. So, this is the same thing. There you go. I think the rabbit was also used originally as like a test. So you'd have the rabbit running around and you'd, the testers would chase it. Okay, I mean, these are the three in town, right? So from what I can see, the town has two lots of three. So, it's... if we zoom in...
Wait, no. There's a lot of three here. I'm gonna look carefully. It looks like there's three lots of three. Okay, so that's two lots of three. And then what? That's the other. Oh, this is six here. Yeah. There's still three. I really hope this whole this whole thing isn't just a simple answer. suppose. No, they're here. Okay. I think I, it's safe to say I've gotten the ones in the town. So... All that's left is just the outside pillar and then it's the pyramid. It, it has to be the pyramid. If I can rule out Outside, then it's it's a hundred percent the pyramid. So the only place I haven't looked outside is this area near the pyramid. But it looks like it's the pyramid. So then I just look at where the coins are in the pyramid. Oh! Crap. <laughs> Didn't mean to. What if they're here? I haven't been told that I've got on everything. Again. But could it be only one and not the other? It could be. It, I guess it might count them as the same area, because they were originally the one area. It's just they're separated now. Like, the pyramid part was sunk in the ground and then it went floating in the sky, but... Oh! That was, yep. Good work. Good work. <laughs> it doesn't matter how, m how many years I've played platformers. Ice, ice stages and clown stages. <laughs> this is my worst nightmare. It's not because I hate clowns, it's just for some reason whatever's going on thematically in a clown stage is just a disaster when it comes to platforming. Okay, there we go. That's one way to stop the slipping. Trying to see if there's anything. I don't think there's anything else to hide. I've been up there. That's not going to let me go inside like that. <laughs> it's driving me nuts! I'm looking at images now as well. 
I want the Jaxi one. Sorry. Is it really the is it really the pillar? I'm gonna be upset if it's the pillar. <laughs> I've already gotten that ring thing. Rating. <laughs> I think I know where they are. It has to be. It has to be these two spots. It has to be one of these two spots. It can't be anything else. It's not this. It, it, it has to. Where's the pyramid? That's Jack. Oh, I can't. Um, what's the quickest? I guess electricity is the quickest way up there. Completionism. So I don't have to go through that separate area just to get up to the top. Oh, come on, man. I've done this so many times. I think I'm off my game today. the obvious <laughs> all right round of applause okay we're good now I would have walked around this thing at least three times I just didn't turn around I can buy the final souvenir for this world. <laughs> ah, okay. Hooray. Is that worth, like, the potential two hours? I don't know. What's the next most expensive thing? It's like 5,000. There's multiple outfits that cost 5,000. The early is for winner.
<laughs> That's actually green, Mario. Alright, bird. Where are we going now? Hat and seek in the sand, yeah. Still looking for that hat. Welcome back, Jaxi. Found the sand art kingdom. I mean, sand kingdom art. Okay, uh, how are we looking anyway? Oh! Pretty much there. Okay. Uh, hat. Well, I need to find someone that has a hat. I'm not sure what "Welcome Back, Jaxie" means. So we just have to find someone that's wearing a, a cappy. We just have to look carefully. <laughs> just smack everyone! Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, what's that? Alright, Bub. Tell me the last one, not that one. Random is random, was the last one. Maybe I should. <laughs> Okay, you know what? <laughs> I don't have time for this. Where's the toad? Where's Blowed? Blowed. Apparently in town? What? Nope, you get off. That's not what I want. Oh, it's the <laughs> pointing to the picture. That's not what we want. Um, okay, give me a minute. I require more coins. This is what I was doing whilst watching Demon Slayer. This is a good spot for coins. Jeez, what is wrong with this analog stick? Man, the analog stick I was using. I have uh, a different set of controllers on in portable mode. It's so funny, I, I really liked the Pro Controller when it first came out, but just as I experienced other controllers, 
just learned that it's not that great. I mean, as long as I get enough to get two hints, it's fine. There we go. Honestly, close enough. That's two hints worth. Bird doesn't want to point out the last moon. More coins. Oh, that's it? Welcome back, Jaxie. Oh. Wait, but then there's still... How's that gonna work? Because it's talking about this missing statue up top. Unless I just had to stand up there. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I should probably take the electric pole. it somehow magically oh wait a minute i think i know what this is i think i know what this is it's not that i have to find it i i bet this is this thing where it's in the sky or something what else would it be Because, okay, there are statues down here. But I don't think it's this. There's no way it expects me to take this thing up there. There's, I don't think there's any way. There's one of these things that's just... Think outside the box. The 
There's no way it's going to make me take it here. I'm going to look for a platform that maybe I can stop on. I forgot where the periscope is in this. This one I might be stuck on. It's definitely something where it's not an attempt to get a real statue up there. You, you can't. It's something where that thing is going to fall into place in just a comedic manner. Has to be using this. Let's see if we can spot it. It has to be this. There's all there's always been one per stage so far. And I haven't done anything with this this stage. It's either that or I'll be able to spot out what it is. I'm gonna hate the answer, aren't I? Hmm. Well, motion control, please.
I'm going back up. Oh, wait. Ugh, wait. Right, you can't just directly go there. Figure this out. <laughs> oh! Ah! Okay, it's simple. It's Luigi Mario. It's Green Mario. That's... It's... I promise the controller is plugged in, Mario. You've never played as that character? Hey, we're right in the stone. Wow, it was actually very simple. <laughs> I feel dumb. I was looking elsewhere for it. I know this place, but my days are standing around are done. Alright. Cool! How's it going? It's going alright. Just waiting for the week to end. Got one more day of work before my public holiday. The neighbors burnt some beans again just like an hour ago, so it smells like burnt beans outside. It's the third time they've done it. How about you? But other than that, I'm just working my way to getting all the moons. It's gotta be on purpose. I think they just get easily distracted. Oh, come on. I don't think they're trying to get attention. Spent the last four hours doing... Wait, God knows how many hours on The Sims 4. <laughs> what are you doing in The Sims? What? But there's still one moon missing. Huh? Okay. Moon... 68... Toast Arena. What is it? Oh, okay. Okay. This is the end result of the tourist thing. You're making a chaotic slutty out. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm not gonna judge. I painted a cat yellow to make him Pikachu. At least they're numbered. Yeah, that's a nice thing. You can look them up. Alright. We're done with this for now. We'll be back later. Alright. I always appreciate that people get very intricate with The Sims. Just either they decorate nicely or they come up with like an intricate storyline for their Sims. I just made a meme house with just characters that I designed around Nintendo characters. And it was, uh... Needless to say, it was a disaster because it was my first time playing a Sims game properly. So I designed a house and just... Forgetting basic things, because I was like, oh, wait. I forget that this is modeled after real life, and they need things like, I don't know, a bathroom. So all my sims at the start were just walking around all weird. I'm like, what are they doing? 
they all were outside and then I figured it out because they needed to go to the bathroom and I had neglected to give them one. Amongst other things, but it was fun. I designed one around Piccolo from Dragon Ball and he just ate a raw onion. Just went- just walked outside, went to the garden, harvested an onion and just ate it. <laughs> For no- no reason. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I find this amusing. I- I promise I'm a grown man. It doesn't find things like this hilarious. Okay. Anyway. I don't know if I've caught you. I may have caught you. I've caught you. Alright, so this has quite a few coins missing, so... Uh, I don't know where Burb is. Where is Burb? I didn't even make a nice looking house. <laughs> I was playing just for shits and giggles. I suppose my sims were designed okay, given they were vanilla. But yeah, off stream I've just been watching Demon Slayer catching up on it and also... Well, I grinded some coins for this, but then, for some reason, I got the urge to try and finish Bubble Bubble. Because that's like one of my white whales. It's like a game that eventually I would like to finish at some point. It's one of the NES games that I own that I've just never finished. It's just it's a difficult game. <laughs> as cute as it might be. So I was like, oh, let's see how far I can get. And, oh, I do not get very far in that game. If you wanted to go to school for interior design, what you spend most of your time on. Oh, cool. I've seen people get very elaborate with that stuff. It's impressive. I don't think I'm going to get it. I think I need a roll. We are Sonic. Oh, because this looks like Origins or whatever it's called. This game predates it by a lot. I've only played one Sonic game, and it's the Master System Sonic, and that was just last year. Oh, too fast! Oh no, this sucks. I don't think you've played a Sonic game. I mean... I'll talk about, like, the 2D platformer, because that's, that's what I know. I don't have... I can't speak for the 3D Sonic games. They're like a mixed bag. Mind you, I did play Sonic Heroes for a little bit, and that was alright. I didn't mind that game. It's just... I feel like the 2D ones... As much as you want to go fast, sometimes going fast is just a liability. 
And it's less about that and more about just not messing up. Because unlike Mario, collecting whatever you need to collect actually matters in Sonic. You need to have rings to get into the bonus areas, which then give you the emeralds, so then you can actually finish the game properly. Or at least get the better ending. I don't like this. <laughs> I want. I know what it wants me to do, but I just I don't like the rolling. So I tried to come up with a middle ground. Good concussion. That'll that'll teach me. Oh, there we go. I'm an idiot. Okay. You don't need to do long jump. Well, this is why I hate rolling. <laughs> Wait, what? Huh. You know, I somehow completely forgot about this. There's a whole sub area down here. This is just to exit the area, right? Yeah. This might explain where some of the coins are. Uh, hold on, before I do that. Uh, uh, uh. This is just a maze. I don't even... Am I doing this correctly? This is wrong. Okay, so then... I was just trying to remember. Then I went middle. No? What did I do? I went right, didn't I? Okay, left. Well, let's just say one, three. This is better. One, three. I'm gonna go two. Nope, okay. Try one, three, four. Okay. Is that one, three? Is it just one, three, five? Is it doing prime numbers? Storing prime numbers, okay. Yeah, I love puzzles where it's just like... You don't know. You're just gonna have to guess until you get it. <laughs> I am being a little facetious, but just... I think that and, um, when games do the, 
the quiz. The two things in games that I don't like. One being... Oh no, I remember this. Um, one of them being guessing, you know, pick a door. And you're gonna get it wrong. It's just luck at the end of the day. And the other one is just the quiz. A lot of games in the 90s and early 2000s did this. But just, oh hey! Hello, I am this character. I am a boss. We're not going to fight. No, no, no. I'm going to give you a quiz. This quiz is going to test your skills. Are you ready? Okay, question number one. At the start of the game that was eight hours ago, there was a house. Inside the house, on the left-hand side of the house, under the curtain, what was the color of the book? Second from the right. I don't fucking know. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> and then you're just stuck there for 30 minutes. Because it's just... It's like, that's not a quiz, man. <laughs> That's fine when it's questions like, oh, what was the second boss's name? That's what player guides were for. Games from the 90s that did that, some of them intentionally had stuff like that. So then you would call up those hotlines. There was a, there was a whole racket to it. Well, I need more coins. I know that a significant amount of coins is required to do that. Anyway. This came to mind because I played Banjo-Kazooie recently for the first time, and I enjoyed the game, but as soon as I got to the very second last section of the game, I wanted to pull my hair out when that quiz came up. <laughs> just... Ugh. You're talking to a girl from the other end, you want to start collecting old niche game guides, because... Since the internet, having a physical book, you have to flip through to find the answers to the puzzle is just a thing of the past. I mean, that stuff was generally in Nintendo Power. But then, specific books like... Pokemon Red had the Pokemon Master's Guide. I remember having that book. That book was really useful. A lot of that stuff was in magazines, as opposed to dedicated books. Where is this moon? I guess I may as well do this. There are a few games that have pretty infamous ones. I forget the name of the game, but there is one game on the NES that its marketing was basically, it's a game of secrets. And it's taken to the point where, like, the level of obscure secrets this thing has, I can't see how anyone can naturally finish this game without referring to a guide. It, I just, I can't see it. Not unless you're literally destroying practically everything on the stage, or trying to hit everything with your head, or just... I'll have to find the name of the game, but its marketing was... It's, it's a game about secrets. And that's all the game is. Oh, there it is. Damn it. Okay. It's behind and to the left. Uh, 
I got the siren. Third! I love how I'm facing the direction I need to go in, and then the camera's just like, haha. I'll adjust myself slightly to challenge the player. Hey! Oh! Really? There we go. Good job. Oh, man. Come here. I have nine more coins to spit. I hope it doesn't reset if I leave the kingdom. That would... that would suck. <laughs> Did I say like a... Cloud of... what? Yeah, that. What a... Okay, you know what? Doesn't matter. Oh, that's what it is. It's the chameleon. I think this is my favorite thing of this game, is just the T-Rex has a protective hat. I'm gonna get rid of its hat. Receive Sid. I saw another one. Dinosaur is fun to control. Oh, it's the locked door, and I need to dress up as. Hey! No! 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 What do I need to dress up as? Explorer. What do you mean Luigi's an explorer? What about Luigi's mansion? Explores a mansion. Oh, right. <laughs> this is what I was doing. Oh, that was distracting! <laughs> this is exactly what happens in Donkey Kong Country. It's like, you take damage, it pauses the game for one second, and that's more distracting than helpful. Once I get confident enough with Bubble Bubble, I will I will play it. Because the thing about that game is it's just there's 99 stage. Well, I think there's a hundred stages or 99. There's a lot of stages, motherfucker. And 
it's one of those games where to extend Okay. Oh Thank you. <laughs> just to extend that, they do the whole thing where it's like, haha, just kidding, this isn't a real ending. Go do everything again, except it's harder. So you do your hundred stages and then you have to do another hundred. That's even harder. And just the way you survive in that game is just, is, oh man, it's rough. Um, I need to get dressed. I think I, I've only ever made it to level 70 something in the amount of continues it gives you. It's that and Battletoads. Those are my two white whales in terms of games I want to finish one day. Somehow. But Battletoads, I feel like, is a, just such a tall order. I can get as far as, I think, the fifth stage. Fourth stage, pretty reliably. Fifth stage is, like, where it all goes to crap. Granted, I haven't tried in a long time, but... I can't believe that jumping into the abyss is a thing here. We're back. I mean, I've, I've said this a lot of times, but you know, Dark Souls has such a reputation of being like the definition of difficulty. But man, <laughs> Battle Toads, Bubble Bubble, come on, man. I could finish Dark Souls several times over by the time I even finished Battletoads once. I've never finished Battletoads. I've, I've finished a Souls game. I have beaten Melania in Elden Ring. Ghosts and Goblins, I don't think I, I have the mental fortitude to get through that game in its true difficulty. It's just, man. I had fun with that game, but at times I definitely felt like <laughs> I was being tortured. It just how meticulous the level design was to just screw the player over. Excuse me, I'm going in here. I'm trying to get rid of its hat. I almost guessed that correctly. I hope this isn't one of these ones that changes. Okay, good. That one. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting this T-Rex. Oh, what, if, what if you can't? Well, no, you can't. You can't. I don't think you can. I thought you could hijack it. It's fine. Oh wait, that's how you do it, that's how you do it. Come here. There we go. Alright, I was right.
how's the weekend? Uh, not a whole lot, really. Just cleaning. Uh, I was watching Demon Slayer. On Monday and Tuesday. I'm up to the, uh, the Sword Village thing. Well, caught up in the sense of the current arc, but... I finished the Entertainment District, so I'm now working through the... I forgot the arc name, but you know which one. They're like in the whole... Place where they forge sword. The Blacksmith Village, or whatever. Gonna work? Alright, no worries, Baron the Storm. I destroyed the rock, so one of them should be immune. I forgot how good the animation was and... You know. It's got good, good animation. Imagine the final coins are here. Any plans for the birthday weekend? Uh, just kind of catch up with my parents, really, and brothers. Because my parents are back from overseas, so... I don't really do anything that special unless it's a milestone birthday, which it's not. Just catching up with whoever wants to catch up <laughs> for my birthday. Gotta have cake. Would you believe that I'm not that big on cake? I guess because it's just sweet stuff. Is I'll have a slice, but it's not not massive on it. See, I'd rather be more about the birthday food as opposed to the cake. I did get, like, one time. <laughs> Someone telling me what my birthday present is going to be, but it's just not going to arrive in time, unfortunately. But I'll get it eventually. It's actually pretty cool. Someone's getting me a Vampire Survivors t-shirt, like an official one, and it looks really cool. One, because it looks like a Castlevania t-shirt, but also just the lettering and the style of it's pretty cool. It looks like it's like a t-shirt of a heavy metal band, which... Kind of neat. I love the typography they use on those kind of shirts. Only it's vampire survivors. Just waiting to restock, like, the larger sizes. Because I think they've only got M at the moment. Which, too small. I like my t-shirts to be a little baggy. Baggy clothes is great. What? Why aren't you running into a tree? Like, I'm trying to... Get Whatever. You don't use L and XL, it's fat and extra fat. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean fat. 
Some people like clothing to be longer or they're just taller. Some people just enjoy the room. Yeah, the design is really cool. I do like my nerdy t-shirts. There's gotta be one more moon here. I, I know it's the coin one, but I need the... There you are. No? I need the coin purse thing. That's what I'm looking for. The problem with this one is it's so well camouflaged. I get where it is. Did I see a picture in Discord? No. When? Oh, what the hell? No. <laughs> Do we have crepes? Yeah. Plenty of French people here. I had crepes when I was in high school. They... They brought them to class and... Well, they brought people to make them for our class. Because we had the thing called International Week. Where just people... Bring foods from... Wherever they're from. So... But there's also places you can get crepes. You can get practically any any kind of food here in Melbourne, and you can also do it in Sydney. Dude, where is this? I know it's hovering around this, because I didn't have to walk very far. You didn't know crepes were French? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. That's cool, because you can have sweet or you can have savory. Like, they're pretty versatile. Oh, there you are. All right. I hope this is working. That sounds like it is. <laughs> uh, let me look. Didn't do well in Atlantic City. Went home losing, but it was fun. That's, uh, the house always wins, or whatever it is. The sizes here are ten sizes smaller than in the US. That's one disconnect I have here in Australia, is we get a mix of US clothing and we get a mix of European clothing. Because sometimes you'll buy a large and it's like, awesome, this is American large. Sometimes you'll buy a large and you're like, shit, this is European large. <laughs> Sizing is, is really strange, for sure. For some reason it happens more with women's clothing from what I've heard here in Australia, that... Sizing can be really inconsistent. But it's also with, um... 
with some Asian clothing companies like Uniqlo, which is Japanese. Large is not that big. Large is... It's probably like European large, to be honest. I think the only thing where it is consistent is the the waist measurements because those typically are standardized. I don't have any coins, so does that mean game over? No, it doesn't. Okay. I guess I should leave here and come back. I don't know how many of you watch Parks and Rec, but there's a scene where they're talking about beverage sizes. <laughs> obviously, it's it's like it's fake, but they have a child's drink they have something that holds. I can't remember how many ounces it was, but that thing looked like it held two liters. It was great. It was funny. That's all I think of when it comes to just clothing sizes. It's just like, you know, you have your standard measurements and then you have the American size. How many ounces is a liter? Good question. How many ounces is a liter? It's 33.81 fluid ounces. 33 ounces. So two liters would be 66. So, I mean, our drinks come in 2 litre and 1.25 litre. And then 600 mils and 375 mil, which is, like, almost identical to your can of drink. Whatever it might be, beverage. Yeah, Parks and Rec is great. <laughs> If you haven't seen that show, it's good. <laughs> Imperial and US ounces are slightly different, really? This is why I just swap over to metric. Metric is just... Trust me, once you get the hang of it... I wasn't even paying attention. Well, well, once you get the hang of metric, honestly, it's worth, it's worth it. Sky high. Okay, I know what it is. This one? This one. Oh, this is a great theme. Ron Swanson is a mood, yeah. But even just, like, the comedy of Chris Pratt, there's so many lines he ad-libbed in that show that just made the entire cast just laugh. And the writers are like, man, he just says stuff that's funnier than anything a room of writers can come up with. Is it Hell's Kitchen night? Uh, most likely no. I have a nine o'clock meeting that I need to be alert for. Unless I wrap up in the next, I don't know, half hour. Most likely not. Someone scheduled a meeting first thing. 9 a.m. for the very first thing I'm gonna do.
Well, it was been on Old Hotel Hell. Back oh, I've seen all of Hotel Hell. Good. Disgusting sometimes, but good. Oh. This is new. You're not usually allowed to control these things. But this is a double-edged sword, like... I don't know if it's the same as other stages where poison equals insta-death. It might very well be. Oh my god. How did I survive that? Okay, it's not insta-death, but still. Like, I assumed it would have been. Uh, what? What do you mean? Uh oh. Let me in! Uh, what do? Did I, was I supposed to bring something with me? I didn't see anything at the start. Too late now. The only thing I can think of is like I was supposed to use this thing to vomit on it, but I don't know. Crap. Alright, I gotta go back. I think I definitely have to use this thing to help explode. Otherwise, what else? What else is there? Oh, hello. What is this? Okay, that aside. I hate this. Oh! <laughs> I'm alright. I can't believe I survived that. That was a pretty blind jump. figure out how to capture these things. Oh, okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. And that's how you capture it. No! <laughs> okay. It's one of these CBT moons. Don't stop, 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 stop. You're panicking. What? <laughs> what? What hit me? Oh, whatever, man. 
Like the smallest amount of poison, okay. <sighs> right. Alright. Alright. You're gonna grab the rock and you're gonna throw it at him. <laughs> oh. I don't know what's going on. I'm not playing well. It is approaching that time of night, the midnight brain. So this part I have to get correct. Okay. Grab a rock. Jump. Throw it. Hold on. Oh no, they ate it. <laughs> Damn it. That's too slow. They showed um, another trailer of the Princess Peach game, just of all the transformations. Well, maybe not all of them, but the more common ones. And the game looks interesting. It looks like it's just going to be a mash of, like, Kirby stuff. Some of it looks like a cross between Kirby and, um... It's not bad. I think it'll, it'll be an alright game. Not groundbreaking, but it looks decent enough that's worth a look. What? I can't... Am I just supposed to... I think I'm just supposed to throw a rock at it. Oh... I mean, at the actual glass case. I mean, otherwise, what else am I supposed to do? Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna be here forever. I think I'm just overcomplicating it. I think this is just straightforward. You just throw a rock at the glass thing and it shatters. But this is the problem with this kind of game is like, it has such an absurd fantasy level that I want the answers to be of an absurd fantasy level. Instead of being the realistic thing where it's like, yes, if you throw, if you throw a large stone at a structure that is made out of glass, the glass will shatter. But I don't want the boring answer, I want the complicated answer, where I use, like, the piranha flower to spit poison, which melts the glass. That's, that's the answer that I want. I don't want the simple solution! Okay, well... Shit. I threw it in. I was trying to grab it. Is there another stone? So okay, there is. A That's oh, oh my god, Cappy! Okay. Okay. 
Because what, Cappy is Y and Grab is Y. It's like two buttons for the same thing. Okay. 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 Game, please, my heart! <laughs> it respawned. Okay, deep, deep breath. <sighs> this is the one. I'm doing it this time. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is not fair. They got poison everywhere! <laughs> I'm gonna have to take all of them out. <sighs> yeah, ground bound into the poison! I, I keep doing that. Clear the way, clear the way. Oh, I see. How foolish of me to think that I would break a glass structure. I think I need to go to bed. This is clearly like, go to bed, Will. Nope. Just, yeah. Melt the glass with poison, throw rocks at it, yeah. Don't, don't kill the big enemies. Oh boy. I see a hat over there. Whatever this is, this will be the last moon I do for now. In the name of my sanity and whatever little respects 
might still exist. I've already I've already messed this up. I realize what this is now. Get up. Hold on. Why can't I just do this? Am I? Am I? Oh, okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw some Goombas at the players, so then they think they have to collect the Goombas and make a tower. Little do they know, they just go off to the left, and then they can do this easily. <laughs> I think I'm think I'm good for now. We save. And I do this before the midnight brain truly kicks in. Alright, I'm leaving it here for tonight. That's good enough. We'll continue this next time. Uh yeah, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and hope you've been enjoying the playthrough of Odyssey. If you have and want to support the channel. Over there, easiest way to do so is just click the like button, or you can also watch me play other things as well by clicking one of the other videos. It does help out a lot, so thank you to those that do do that. But we'll do more of this next time. Bye, YouTube.